A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will learn how to fetch data from an external web source, using the RESTful data source feature of Oracle Apex. In this video, you will integrate the latest currency exchange rates and currency conversions into your Apex application, by using a free currency API from amdaran.com site. This currency API is available in JSON format and easily accessible through a simple API request over a secure HTTPS connection. Follow the steps to accomplish this task. Click the link of amdaran.com site provided in the description. Click the free sign up button. On the developer sign up page, enter your credentials including your email address. Click the sign up button. You'll get a message your account has been created. Please check your email for your account details. Open your email client, you'll receive an email from hello at amdaran.com, carrying your password. Take a note of this password, you'll need it in a while. and log into the developer area by entering your email ID and the password you received in your email. After successfully logging into your account, you will see your API key, write down this key in Notepad Editor. Open Oracle Apex. Go to Shared Components. REST Data Sources. Under Data Sources. And click the Create button. On the Method screen, select the From Scratch option, to create the web source module from scratch. On the General screen, select Simple HTTP for web source type, and enter Currency Converter for the web source name. For URL Endpoint, Enter this URL provided in the description which is the base URL for the currency API. Click Next. The base URL is the URL of the chosen remote server object. The HTTP endpoint URL of this web source module is made up from the base URL and the service specific path suffix which appears in service URL path underneath. The HTTP endpoint URL is built by appending service specific URL path to the base URL specified in the remote server object. Accepting the values on the remote server screen, click Next. Turn off the authentication required option and click the Advanced button on the Authentication page to add some parameters. On the Parameters screen, enter values as shown in the video. In the Value box, paste the API key value you copied in Notepad Editor. Click the Discover button.
the preview screen will come up displaying a value in the amount column by clicking the data tab. The data profile tab contains columns and type definitions. Click the Create REST Data Source button to complete this process. Create a static list of values named currencies. These values used in this LOV will be used in two select lists on the application page created next. Create a blank page. Provide a page number and a name. Add a region named parameters to this new page. Add the following three items to the parameters region. Add a classic report region to the page with the following attributes. Expand the parameters subregion under the current rate classic report region. The region contains the three parameters you defined while creating the web source module. At this stage the parameters exist with the same values you defined on parameters screen. In order to make the module more flexible, you need to replace these static values with the values you select while creating three page items under the parameters region. Click the amount parameter, set its type to item, and item to p4 amount to map this parameter to the value of p4 amount text field item. Similarly. Change the type and item attributes of, from, and to parameters to, p4 from, and p4 to respectively. Add a new button to the page with the following attributes. After you select your desired currencies and input a value, you hit this button to calculate the conversion amount. Save and run the page. Select different currencies using the from, and to, select lists. Enter some value in the amount text field, and hit calculate button. The API specified in the web source module will perform real-time conversion and will display the exchange rate in the amount column. The free API being used in this segment allows you to convert currency 10 times in a month. Once you utilize this limit, you will receive this error message. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more videos like this. Thank you for watching.